Are you thinking of getting a pet frog? Maybe you thought about getting a turtle or a lizard or a snake, but you're looking for something a little bit more simple. Or maybe you find frogs adorable and you wanna get one. Aww. Either way, this video is for you. Hey, I'm Dr. Balderrama. Today we're talking about frogs and whether they make good pets or not. Cause sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. First of all, I think frogs can make great pets. They're small, overall easy to take care of, and they can be quiet pets, sort of. Some pet frogs can actually be kind of noisy. Frogs make noises for different reasons, but it's usually the males calling out to the ladies. And there's an amazing variety of frog calls, and some of their calls are high-pitched, some are low-pitched, and some of their mating calls are really unique. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my raccoon gal. All right, one thing to remember about frogs is they are definitely a no-touchy type of pet. No touchy. No touch. Unfortunately, your bare hand can have oils, residues, and these can harm a frog's skin. You shouldn't handle your frog frequently. No petting, no hugging, and definitely no kissing. Kissing would be nice, yeah? You definitely don't want any of that salmonella stuff. So if you're gonna touch a frog, wash your hands, kids. Tell them, Elmo. Another great thing about frogs is the variety. There's horned frogs, bullfrogs, leopard frogs, tree frogs, and some of the coloration on these species is absolutely stunning. And when you put them in a well-designed terrarium, it really can be a work of art. And don't forget to do your frog research. Does your frog prefer to be kept alone or does it do well in small groups? But if you do keep a group of frogs together, make sure they're all around the same size. Otherwise, Frogs also may not be the best pet for kids. Even though frogs look cute and innocent, some kids find them terrifying. Many kids easily get bored with frogs. And frogs are not throwaway pets. They spend large amounts of time just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. If you thought fish were boring, don't get a frog. At least fish swim around. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And another thing, there's not a lot of owner interaction that you can have with a frog. You can't sit on the couch, watch TV, can't take them for a walk, and you definitely can't sit around playing the banjo. A nice thing about owning frogs is that they're relatively inexpensive. Unlike a cat or a dog, they don't require vaccines, flea or heartworm prevention, nail trims. If you're looking for a relatively cheap pet to maintain, you should check out frogs. And their diet is pretty simple. For the most part, bugs. In general, yes, frogs are cheap to maintain. But here's an important fact about their diet. Unfortunately, you just can't go and buy a bag of froggy food at Costco. Oh. Theoretically, you could feed them nothing but crickets. But crickets are lacking in calcium, which a frog needs. So you're gonna need to find a good vitamin supplement and a calcium powder for your frog. Remember, frogs are meat eaters. They're carnivores. Frogs can eat anything from small fruit flies to large mice. All right, so do frogs make good pets? Well, it depends on what you're looking for in a pet. It all depends on your living situation, your expectations, and the time that you have to devote to your little froggy friend. But if you're still on the fence as to whether frogs or reptiles in general make good pets, just ask me any questions you may have in the comment section below. So this concludes this five-part series on whether reptiles and frogs make good pets. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Balderrama, and remember, love your reptiles and your little frog too. <laughs> Hey, did you like the video? If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, this is only one video in a five-part series on whether reptiles and frogs make good pets. So check them all out and I'll see you in the next video.